What's up, coach? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. And if you want to learn more about our Sports Accelerator program, this is our number one business coaching program that we have for coaches. Then visit the description below this video. There's a number of ways that you can even apply for the program or you can schedule a free call with me where we jump on Zoom and I can answer any questions that you may have with regards to your business and we can see if you are a good fit to for the Sports Accelerator program. Okay? So today I want to I want to talk about three ways to make your sports camps unique. Now, at this point of the year, I speak to a lot of coaches who are now preparing for the, the camp season. So the spring and the summer is usually when a lot of coaches run training camps. And a very common question that I get asked is, Leo, how can I make my soccer camp business better? How can I add more value? How can I make it unique? How can I separate myself from my local competitors? So I want to share with you uh, three very simple ways that you can make your camps unique so that you can essentially charge more for your service. You can get great results with the athletes and the players that you wor you're working with. And ultimately, right, you separate yourself from, from your competitors. Because when we get to the spring and summer, there's going to be a lot of people running multiple camps in your city. But how can you become different? How can you separate your uh, training camps from everyone else? Right. So the first one is making your camps more specialized. Right. So when I talk about specialized means focusing on one particular area of the game. So this might be running goalkeeper, a goalkeeper camp. This might be running an outfield player camp, right? This might be working, having a camp just solely for defenders, right? So making your camp specialist, specialized for a specific type of player and that you're looking to solve a specific problem. So as I mentioned, as I gave you a couple of examples, this could be, right, you're running a goalkeeper camp just for goalkeepers. It could be you're running a camp for elite players. So it could be players who are already at the academy level, or it could be for college players. It could be for high school players. It could be for travel team players. Right. So making your camps specialized for a specific type of player right now, not just that, but how can we now incorporate different types of things within the camp for that specialist type of player? So this might be incorporating workshops that focus on nutrition. It might be running workshops that focus on injury prevention. It might be sports psychology, right? So the mental side of, of soccer, right? But when you specialize or make your camps specialist at a certain area or a certain type of player, okay, you've got to make the experience all round, right? So what is that that player needs in order to get to the level that we're looking to market the camp? So I'll give you a very simple example. If you're working with club players, right? And their, their goal, they're coming to you because they want to play at, at the college level. Then you have to know what the college level looks like and what coaches look for when they recruit players for that level or what, what that level requires their players to have. Right. And that's how you then make your camps based around with the needs and wants at the college level. So this might be 
an idea of bringing a scout in to have a look at some of your players. You might want to bring in a college coach to do a presentation on the players, right, to help them with the recruitment process or a number of other ways that I've just shared with you where you're, you know, you're doing workshops that's focusing on nutrition, injury prevention, how to get recruited and the mental side of the game, right? So separate in your camps from everyone else, okay? Now, the second way to make your camps more unique is integrating technology into them. Now, something I do with my camps when I run them with, with my academy is we do a chalk and talk, and also we do video analysis session. So this obviously takes a lot of setting up and you, knew, you do need the um, agreement and you do need the approval of your parents. But what you can do is you can hire out a cameraman or a camera woman to come in and record your training session. Okay? Now, what you can do as well is maybe during lunch, when your players are having lunch, and if you have an indoor area within the area you're using, you could run a video analysis session and where players watch over the training session and you can pinpoint certain parts of the training session that certain players are doing. So what's this player doing well? How is this player achieving this success? Right, and use a, a board or a classroom okay, while they have lunch and they can even make notes on specific topics that you're talking about, right? So implementing technology into this where you might only be focusing on one player, right? So you're focusing on one player during that training session. And then what we do, we show it to our players in a classroom environment. And we look at that one player, what they're doing well, what they need help with, okay? And, and you really break down different areas of their game, such as decision-making skills, spatial awareness, and the tactical understanding of the game, right? So there's a lot of things that you could do, but implementing technology into your camps will help you to separate yourself from everyone else, uh, add more value, because that becomes really valuable to the players that you're, you're working with, okay? And also, ultimately, you can charge more for your service. Now, the third one is building a team, a team building environment. Okay, so what I mean by team building and activities is that doing stuff during the camp, which might not be relevant, well, which might not have anything to do with actual soccer or the sport you're coaching, right? It's just simply, okay, simple exercises to... Uh, promote team collaboration, uh, communication, uh, trust among your, your campers, right? And just to build teamwork and cultural understanding of the, the group that you're working with, okay? And there's a number of activities that you can do. This is something I can help you with if you want to reach out to me, right? But just making it a, an environment where you're working on team building exercises that might not have anything to do with the actual sport, but it's more about building that team culture within your camp, right? And this adds a lot of value because it's showing that players, okay, it doesn't always have to be through the sport. It can be through other different uh, avenues. Some very simple things that I do is uh, I play quizzes, right? So, so quizzes with, with players during the camp. Um, you could put your, the groups of players into small teams and you could run a quiz that has nothing to do with sport and it's just a general quiz. And they work together to solve uh, the, the problems, answer the questions. And that's just one way of a hundred different ways that you can add more value to your camp and build that team culture within uh, your camps to make them different and add more value to them, okay? If you need more help with this, 
right? Reach out to me. This is something I work with coaches on a regular basis. And if you're looking to run either camps coming up or you're looking to start a, a soccer camp business, then reach out to me. We've been doing this since 2016. We've been helping coaches run big money camps where they've got a huge number of kids that attend the camps. They're charging high fees for the camps and essentially they're adding more a lot of value and getting great results with the players and families that they work with. Okay, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel.